Hello there, and welcome to the Minecraft Super Flat Challenge, where my goal is to survive in this world and defeat the Ender Dragon. I first started by looking all around to see what structures to loot. I went straight for the nether portal. There was okay loot, but then I had to defend myself from a slime. I collected the loot and ran. There was an oak tree in my way, so I had to collect it. There was a village, and I took everything they had. Chest 1. Chest 2. Chest 3. First pickaxe. I looked on top of the church to find what else was around me. Chest 4. Once I had the loot, I decided to mine a little. I know what it looks like. But I swear, with pure luck, I found diamonds. Chest 5. Bread. I found another nether portal and took the loot. I found another village and decided to collect as much wheat as possible. But first I had to kill an enderman. Sadly, no ender pearls. It was at this moment I noticed I had a notch apple. And then collected more produce. I went back to my home village to collect the diamonds. It was time to trade with the farmer. I made a sacrifice for a bucket. Traded a villager for armor and went back to the nether portal to set up base. It took a little bit of time just because of the slimes. It also took me a second to realize you can't use crying obsidian for a portal. Went on more resource gathering. No ender pearls. I traveled to the nether and lucked out. There was a nether fortress right at the portal. I entered the fortress and found a blaze spawner, one step closer to the end. I barely survived, but I continued the fight. I got a couple blaze rods and explored more. I found another blaze spawner. I tried to go back, but somehow I angered some zombie pigmen. So I ran for my life. I bridged away from the fortress to see what else was in the wasteland. I collected some gold. Took out a gas. Collected more gold. I used the gold to trade with piglins. But I did not get enderpearls. I got one ender pearl and returned home. I explored more of the super flat world and found a pillager outpost. There were so many pillagers. I took out some and left. There was a blacksmith but not the best loot. Collected more wheat.
collected more pumpkins. Traded with some farmers. Went back to my base to organize and bake potatoes. Returned to the nether. I decided I need to steal some bones to use as fertilizer to expand my emerald wealth. I saw another enderman and was able to get another ender pearl. I continued the quest to find more gold. I was able to find a warped forest. Hopefully I could get more gold and ender pearls here. Built the bridge. So I Enderman. No Ender Pearl. More gold. Decided to head back. Still collected some on the way back. Unfortunately, the gas tried to kill me. Luckily, I survived. I crafted some gold ingots and made a hole to put piglins into. It was easier to trade at this point. Still no ender pearls, which was annoying me. I fell in the hole by accident and was not sure what to do. I decided to make a chest to put away all my items, but I did not realize that would anger them. I was in panic mode. Ran as fast as possible to get my items. The piglins took the most important items and attacked again. Panic. I decided that I should start farming and trade more. I found out that the cleric can trade ender pearls at a higher level. I wish I knew that sooner. I finally made the ender eyes, but I collected more blaze power just in case. Once I returned, I created farms so I could get more ender pearls. I found a horse which was difficult to tame. His name shall be Gerald. I made a diamond sword and prepared myself for the end. Took a bed and Gerald. We rode off into the wind. If you made it this far, thank you. And if you could, like and subscribe, that can help out a lot. The stronghold ended up past the pillager outpost. I 
I set up camp with Gerald just in case I needed it. I climbed the stronghold and tried to enter the portal room. The silver fish attacked. I had to stomp them out on the steps. I finally made it. All I have to do is defeat the Ender Dragon. Once I entered, the void surrounded me, but I built fast to reach the island. I built a quick safe spot so I could easily kill some Endermen. Q destroying end crystals. I was killed. I ran back as fast as possible. I was able to get my items to continue the fight. I did it, and I defeated the Ender Dragon. This is the first time I did it in my personal survival world. Thank you for joining this journey. See you until next time.